Hello everyone, welcome to Quantum Guruji. So today in this video we are going to talk about how about U parameter uh, which is also known as that U correction and when we have to use this U correction and how uh, if you are not using this U correction how it will affect your energies, your properties and how to overcome all these things. So we will be discussing in detail about Howard correction. Okay, so before starting this topic, I have a small announcement that I have launched uh, DFT courses for molecules as well for materials using Gaussian and Metal Studio. So if you are interested for that full-fledged courses, what you can do, you can go to my channel and here in the playlist, you can see free course for members. You just have to take the membership of this channel and uh, after that, you will be able to watch this, you know, premium uh, private videos. And these videos will be for like full course on DFT for molecules as well as for materials. So it will be getting updated. All of the courses will be getting added there and you will be able to use it for free. Okay. So we'll go back to our topic. So how about U correction? So what it does is, so whenever you are dealing with the metal oxide, transition metal oxides or any element which has D or an F orbital or localized, you know, uh, D and F orbitals, in those cases, uh, there will be, you know, Coulombic interaction will be there. So, in those cases, we have to use this Howard U correction. Uh, what will be the consequences if you are not using this correction? We will be discussing one by one. So, first, I have already told you that this U, cor U correction is for like, uh, it represents U means, and this is a parameter, okay, uh, which used for the correction of energies in, in DFT calculation. Suppose you are using LDA, local density approximation or generalized uh, gradient generalized approximation and in those cases what happens if you are not using this uh, Hubbard correction for uh, transition metal elements or any metal um, like atom which has local SD orbital and F orbital. So in those cases you won't get uh, you know correct energies. So, what is the purpose of using this uh, U correction? So, whenever you are having the self interaction, so in case of localized orbitals, there will be electrons will be filled in the D or F orbital. The localized system, those electrons will be, you know, interacting with each other. So, to avoid those self interaction error, uh, which will result in, you know, huge uh, numerical error in your energies. So, to avoid those error, we have to use this U parameter. See, I'm not giving you the full details here, but I'm giving you a glimpse if you want to, you know, go to each and every point you can uh, hold on each slides and you can spend some time here. Okay, I will just give you the glimpse. Okay. Okay, next is the, uh, how Hubbard parameter calculated theoretically. So there are various ways of calculating uh, Hubbard parameter. First is using theoretical, using Abanisu methods like VFT methods. So, using uh, DFT method also, you can calculate the U parameters. How to do that? For that, what you have to do is, uh, you have to calculate the uh, uh, J, that is the uh, J, like that is also another uh, self interaction parameter that you have to use for uh, correction for this Howard parameter U. And using those things, uh, you will be able to calculate the, uh, this U parameter uh, theoretically. And also you can use empirical approach like suppose you are having experimental energies, okay. Suppose you are having a system and you have calculated the energy for that. And now what you do, you just tune the U value from, you know, start with 1 and go till 9. So whatever U value is fitting into that uh, energy, you can use that u value for further calculation so that is also known as fitting or empirical approach so in this you will be having experimental data for a molecule for a uh, material and then you will be tuning the u value to fit the uh, your energy value then that the range of u value suppose you don't have experimental value so what you do is um, tune the u value from you can start from 1 to 9 and just and uh, or generally or typically you can use generally the value for you will be in between 2 to 8 okay if you are like uh, optimizing the u value you can start with 1 to 9 okay so these are the ways to you know theoretically calculate the u value 
then the uh, point comes like when you will be using this u parameter okay so whenever your materials uh, is strongly correlated especially in case of localized system so in these cases the standard dft may not give you the uh, correct electronic properties energies especially when you are having a you know a localized d and f electrons so in those cases you have to use this u correction and this also affects the uh, you know the band gap so correction of band gaps dft plus u correction is often used for um, you know correcting the band gap in the semiconductors and insulators typically which underestimates the uh, dft uh, underestimated by dft so in those cases also you need to use this uh, u correction and for whenever you are going for magnetic properties and whenever you are calculating insulators in those cases you have to use this dft u correction now what will happen if you are not using the u parameter so in those cases what will happen you won't get a you know accurate band gap because it uh, dft underestimates and if you are not using the u correction again it will give you you know uh, not accurate value of band gap so if you are not using the u correction your magnetic properties the delocalization everything will be affected so in case in the summary whenever you are having a transition metal elements or you are dealing with a localized system where you are having a d and f orbitals in those cases you must use dft plus u correction okay so we have seen the theory person now we'll go to the middle studio and we'll deal with the how we'll use this correction for you know in experimental so first of all we'll import one metal oxide one structure normal structure and then we'll see how this works okay just i'm taking some suppose i'm taking this uh, metal oxide okay i'm taking zinc oxide okay now we are having a zinc oxide lattice here and here we will be having zinc which is a transition metal and then we are having oxygen so in a case of oxygen there is no need of using this uh, Howard correction but for so this red represents your oxygen right and this gray color represents the uh, zinc okay so we have to use suppose you are doing a calculation for zinc oxides uh, whatever calculation you're performing you have to use this uh, so-called uh, u correction you have to use so there are various ways of using you suppose uh, you want to use this u correction for magnetic properties means in those cases you have to deal with the spins now how we'll use this first we'll uh, discuss that first you select the element and go to the symmetry images so here all of the you know zinc atoms are chemically equivalent so what will happen uh, suppose i am going to fit the uh, u value plus spin for one system that will be taken for all of these uh, elements here means in zinc now go to the modify and go to the electronic configuration here and there if you see so here the zinc has formal charge of charge of plus two because here the formula is ZnO, O will be carrying minus 2, so uh, zinc will be having plus 2 charge here. And since we have selected the all of the zinc, right now, there are two ways. You can calculate the, uh, the energies in a diamagnetic case or you can calculate in the magnetic cases, right? Uh, so if you want to calculate the magnetic phase of this material, what you have to do is go to the uh, spin state and here you can choose high spin or low spin whatever you want to choose you can choose suppose I'm choosing the high spin now we have to give the uh, you know the direction to the spin I'm not able to okay okay so suppose when you are dealing with the, the spins in those cases you have to select one atom okay then only you will be able to add the spins. Suppose you are having here um, three atom, means totally within a cell you are having a two atom, right? 
so this jing if you want to put a high spin so okay here there is no option to give the direction to the spin okay so you have to put the values here fine you select this uh, jing now you go to the spin state high or low so you can give either plus for up spin minus for down spin okay so this is the direction down spin and you can give the up spin for plus so in case you want to do a magnetic calculation so what you can do is uh, suppose you want to uh, keep all electrons up for this you just go for select symmetry images now you go for all up fine so this will be the magnetic phase here now the spin will be plus direction is up fine now go to the Howard here if you see right now the D value is set to be 0 now you can change this D value that is for Howard correction for the D orbital because here you don't have F orbital so you can put the uh, Howard correction for a D orbital which will be around uh, 4 to 6 so either you can go to the literature and check the value for Howard correction for G case and you can put that value here okay now this is for magnetic case suppose you want to calculate for a direct magnetic case or non magnetic case what you can do is go to the undefined so now what will happen your spins are you know cancelled out up and down are same so here if you see that there is no direction and spin we have given as zero so those spins has cancelled out so this is the non magnetic case okay so in both way you can calculate now once you have selected here then you can proceed with the same uh, like uh, whatever way of calculation you are doing suppose you want to use cast step go there and there you have to select the uh, u dft plus u how you will do that suppose i am going to use geometry optimization here and uh, whatever correct method you are going to use i have to click on spin polarized and i have to select this lda plus u okay because we are dealing with the u correction so you have to click on this lda plus u then only this Howard correction will be uh, taken care and already we have set the values for Howard correction okay like in case of copper oxide uh, in for a 3d structure uh, the Howard correction for the D orbital is uh, around 7 and if you are dealing with the surface structure of zinc, uh, this copper oxide I'm talking about copper oxide okay so that in case when you are dealing with the two-dimensional lattice the u value changes okay so in case of two dimensional system when you are dealing with the surface uh, i think uh, the value of u is around for 5.5 that gives the accurate result so this is the way to use Howard correction and uh, calculate this dft plus u energies and uh, other parameters if you have any doubt pertaining to this video you can put in the comment section and thank you for watching the video